25 years of Pokemon cards wrapped up in a neat little booster box. This is the 20th anniversary collection. This is Japan's version of Pokemon Celebrations. It came out on the 22nd of October, so two weeks after Pokemon Celebrations released internationally, but it's here at last. And the format is a little bit different to Pokemon Celebrations because it is sort of released in two parts. You may be familiar with this if you watched some of my videos where I spoke about this, but basically this here is the Booster Box S8A. And inside of this, you'll find the regular Celebrations cards, one to 25 that we're all pretty familiar with, as well as Pikachu V Union. So if you find a booster pack that has Pikachu V Union in it, you'll find all four cards to create the big card. And there's also a Pikachu illustrated by Hyogonosuke in this set. So that's one of the differences. There's some actual reverse hollows in this too, which didn't release internationally that I know they are in the Taiwan release. Um, I don't know about the Korean, but the other part for this set is these. This is S8AP. These are promo packs. And inside of these, you will find the reprint cards that everybody's sort of gone a bit crazy for. Now, when you buy four booster packs of this set, you'll get one of these for free. But not every seller is handing these out for free in Japan. There's a lot of reselling going on at the moment, which is a little bit disappointing, but it kind of is what it is. But inside you'll find one of the reprints like Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaur, Umbreon, etc. Yeah, I was very fortunate to actually get a hold of these thanks to a friend in the OKJ Love Discord. Thank you very much. You know who you are. I really do appreciate your help. But I'm super excited to open this up and see what we're going to find inside. Let's do it. And let's just get into it. Now, for the most part, this is, like I said, really similar to international release. The booster box here, this costs 4000 752 yen. So that was the retail price. It's sort of selling for a little bit more at the moment because, you know, there's a lot of hype around it and it's kind of hard to get a hold of. But yeah, I don't think, you know, it's too bad considering because it is a nice set. I know it's it's relatively small. I know it's only like 25 cards plus the extra in the Japanese set. There are 16 booster packs inside one of these booster boxes. Very lovely booster pack. The artwork on the front is really nice too. So it's it's a very nice, well-rounded set that warrants the excitement. So I'm pumped to get into it. I'm going to move these to the side and we'll just start. Actually, you know what? I'll start with a promo pack just to kick things off. So we'll see what we get from one of the promo packs. I'm honestly not too fast because all of these look fantastic in Japanese. They are. They just pop a little bit more. I don't know what it is. So first one is... <laughs> it's the Cleffa. I found this card so many times. I found this card so many times in English, but hey, it's really nice. You can just see from the close-ups, it's a really nice card with a very, very awesome texture all across the face of it. It does absolutely sparkle on those gold borders. So yeah, this is really nice. I'm not disappointed to find this at all. Excellent, excellent quality on the Japanese cards as always. Look, I'm not going to lie. It is superior to the English print. There's no point trying to pretend that it isn't, but hey, nice card to find first. I found so many of that in celebration. So, okay, cool. All right, we'll move on. We'll find what's inside of these. So there are, like I said, there are some reverse hollows in these. It's a little bit different to celebrations. I think you find about four reverse hollows from one booster box seems to go. That seems to be the trend for most of them. You also find the energy card here as well. So one energy card in each pack. All right, so we've got the lovely Cosmog. That's illustrated by Kirisaki. I think she does, she does all the Evo line for this one. So that's really nice behind that. Hey, very nice. That's the Ho by Corky Scythor. Absolutely love his work. I made a video recently how a Pokemon card is made illustrated by Corky Scythor. So if you want to go check that out, you will see me sort of uh, singing my undying love for his illustrations. He did also do the Lugia. Is it behind it? No, it's not. It's the Solgaleo also illustrated by Kurosaki. Excellent card. And all right, there you go. So the first Double rare is the Pikachu V, very cute card. A Nummy Naughty Pikachu V, Surfing Pikachu, excellent card. I like the low-key stamp. I prefer the stamp on the Japanese set. It is just, you know, a little bit more discreet, not as, uh, I don't know, I, I prefer sort of like simplistic designs on the promos. I just like them when they're a little bit like sleek looking, but nice card to find first. Okay, I'm keen to see what these uh, reverse hollows look like. They are usually in the last slot from what I've been watching on YouTube. What are we gonna find? We got a dark energy to kick it off. All right, the Dialga by Five Barn Graphics. Another Solgaleo by Kurosaki. I'll take as many of those as they're handing out. Another Cosmog by Kurosaki. Again, love her work. And the Lugia, there it is, by Korki Saito again. Really cool illustrations by one of the greatest to ever do it, in my opinion. And it's so cool that he does both the Lugia and the ho -Oh. So I'm just gonna put those next to each other because I do wanna see how they look. Yeah, that's awesome. These are so cool. Absolutely love them with the silver borders. So clean, just so, so sleek, really. I'm gonna run out of sleeves, so I'm not gonna really sleeve everything, but you can just see there's so many, like there's a lot of cards. I think I'm gonna stack things on top of each other because there are a lot. So we're gonna have a lot of cards by the end of this. There are 16 packs in a box, four cards or five cards for the Japanese release. When you include the holo, that's a nice reverse holo. Lightning, 
energy or electric energy sorry uh we got lugia again grudon by ryuta fuse again excellent excellent artist they are i'm not gonna say relatively new they've been around since like the sun and moon era um they've been doing work for quite a while now their first card was actually ends resolve which i absolutely love just a trainer card but a fantastic illustration you might have seen that if you watched my dream league master set video that i uploaded a few days ago so again another artist i really fawn over all right we got another dialga and oh okay there you go so Professor's Research. It is illustrated by Ken Sugimori. It is a very clean card in Japanese. I'm not going to lie. I like how the text doesn't overtake um, Oak's head there, which it does in the English version. So it's very sleek. You will find one secret rare in a booster box. It's either going to be Oak or the Mew. So in this case, it's Oak. We'll take that though. It's super, super clean. You do really want to find the Mew though. It does have that really nice sparkle on it. I guess because it is the chase, it's way more expensive. So if you are trying to collect a master set of this one, you want to find that rather than pull it, but it is what it is. If I do open another box or not, so that's the question, because I'm not really planning on opening that many boxes of this set. I don't think there's a real need to. I'll probably open up another one, because if you do want to complete the set, oh, very nice. I'll come back to that point. Very, very nice. This is the full art. I guess we'll call it the full art Pikachu by Mitsuda Arata, where he extended the illustration. It looks really clean in the Japanese print. Wow, that is so beautiful. It looks really clean. Like, the, the, the international version in Celebrations looks nice too, but damn. Something about that white border, that silver border, just it just hits different every single time. That's lovely. Hopefully I can find a few more. I do know that you find, you can find a few in this set um, because it's not constituted as a double rare, which is nice. So we've got the Lanala again by Kurosaki. So she does that whole Evo line. The Reshiram and we got the Palkia behind that. So many cards. You do want to find as many of these as you can because they are just absolutely stunning to look at. Just stunning. I, you know what? I should have come into this with a plan for where I'm going to put all these cards, but I didn't. So I'm kind of just, I'm kind of just going with it now. I'm going to lay the cards where they fall. All right. So we got, we got a fire energy. All right. We got another restaurant. These are by, so restaurant and Zekrom in this set illustrated by Ayakusube, who has been around for a very, very, very long time. Their first works were around the Neo Revelation era. So around Neo era Pokemon cards, they first drew that Ho-Oh, Lugia and the Skarmory. I don't know if you guys are familiar with that, those cards that all have sort of a similar style illustration. It's because they form one bigger illustration that was a postcard in Japan. So their style, I'm not gonna say has remained the same, but it's made, remained sort of consistent through the years, which I really like. It's changed slightly, but they still illustrate for the TCG to this day. This isn't like a return card for them. You're probably familiar with that Gengar from Jet Black Poltergeist that they drew. So really nice work, ah, oh, again. Again, another Pikachu. So you really want to find, like I said, I, I want to find as many as I can from a box of these. And the Kyogre, is there another card in this? Yes, there it is, the Pikachu V. This one is by Shogunosuke. So this is a card that wasn't in, I guess, the booster packs that you were opening of Celebrations. It is a card that is in the actual just main set for the Japanese version. So again, really nice. Shogunosuke is one of my favorites. His work is just unparalleled. It just has such a distinct style. You always know when it's a Shogunosuke card, which I really, really like. So that's a very cute Pikachu. I'll open a promo pack. So let's see what's in this one here. There's actually a photo going around where someone had uh, cut they, they didn't realize that the card was at the top and they actually cut the top of the card. It's a Shining magic card. I think it sold for 999 yen on Makari. You'd hate to be that person. All right, what do we got? Ooh, all right, we got a God of War EX. This is a really nice card. I haven't found this in the English version yet. So again, I just can't get over how clean the sparkles look on this, on this Japanese release. It is just so nice. I'm kind of shaking a little bit because I don't want to, I don't know, it's just like, Looking at it, it just looks so, so sparkly. I like, there's like a different layer of texturing, like on the whole card. And then the illustration has like a second layer. It's sort of embossed again. And then the silver borders, they just, those speckles, it's just such a nice effect. Okay, that's two of the reprint cards so far. There is literally cards everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I'll put that next to the, the Cleffa. All right, moving on. So I don't know how many packs through we are. What do I want to find? I want to find as many ho -Oh and Lukia as I can from this. That's basically my goal and the Pikachu by arata -san. So let's see, I can't, I can't get it. I wish they would put these reverse hollows in, um, in English packs. All right, we got Kyogre again by Ruta Fuse. So they did Grudon and Kyogre. The Zekrom, there we go, by Ayakusabe. Again, really nice. Just with the silver borders, it just looks a little bit better. Just my opinion. Everyone's got their taste. All right, Cosmom by Kurosaki again. Okay, that is the first reverse. So you can see here, this is the new style of cards. So this wasn't in Celebrations. This is a new style. I do believe 
the Taiwan version of the cards have this hollow as well. From memory, I'm not sure if the Korean print has it. I imagine Crystal Collects will probably open up some Korean celebrations at some point. So she is kind of the, I'm gonna put it out there and just say she's kind of like the authority on Korean cards. If you wanna know about Korean cards, go and check out her channel. She knows all about them. I feel like I need to do catch up <laughs> on some of her videos to make sure I'm up to date with what's going on. I'm not too interested. This is just personally, because it's quite hard to collect every international print of Pokemon cards. It's just, you know, if you're being realistic about it, it's just way too expensive. So I don't really collect Korean and know that much about it because I don't collect it. But again, Crystal knows what's up when it comes to the Korean side of things. All right, we got a lovely, lovely Lunala. Again, with Lily in the forefront there. I've got cards everywhere here. Another Zekrom and another Palkia. I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of this card. All right, there you go. We got Flying Pikachu VMAX, Soro Tobu Pikachu VMAX. Japanese VMAXs, they just look a little bit better. Again, it's because of that, I guess, embossed texturing. It's just, maybe I'm just being elitist, I don't know. But I prefer, <laughs> I prefer the Japanese prints way, way more. I'm gonna have to open, I reckon I'll open up another two or so boxes of this. Probably won't go like, crazy overboard on it because it is a little bit expensive, but I do want to get like a few of these cards and I figure I might as well just like, again, I just really like how nice that card is. I might as well try and uh, find that gold Mew while I'm at it rather than buying singles because you can buy a lot of singles because they are super, super cheap in Japan, but it's like, mm, you know, I might as well have a bit of a crack here and there just to try and get that Mew because I don't want to pay. I think it's like 15,000 to 20,000 yen at the moment, which in my opinion is a little bit too expensive for that. All right, we got Steel Energy, Reverse. Xerneas by Akira Egawa. This is a lovely card. And can I just say how absolutely awesome it is, how much color sort of pops off this card. It's a really nice illustration. It is by Akira Egawa. She's an amazing, amazing artist. You would be familiar with a lot of her work over the last year or so. She's been doing amazing work for like, I'm gonna say Tapu Koko VMAX, Blaziken VMAX, Chandelure VMAX. They do really, really nice illustrations of the VMAX cards. So seriously stunning stuff. And there's the Veltel behind that awesome card. Look how lovely these two look side by side though. It's really fantastic. Again, she is super, 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 super talented. All right, we got another Professor's Research. This one's by Kiyotaka Oshiyama, who, Again, relatively new artist. However, they have a wealth of experience when it comes to, uh, I guess I'm gonna say the anime industry. They've been involved for a very, very long time. So they definitely know how to create an illustration. They drew the, uh, I'm gonna say, no, it's Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX special art from Rapid Strike, Rapid Strike Master, which is an awesome card. That's that big blue one. And it's just so, I guess, huge in scale. So they're a very nice artist. They're doing amazing work. And a Zashian V, this one's by Mitsuda Arata. So that pairs up with the Zamazenta. And again, really nice card, fine. And you've got the two illustrations that tie together. So I will sleeve that one. I did have some kind of method to this, I feel like at the start, but uh, now there is literally cards all over the place. But hey, that's what it's like. This is reality. It's not always neat, perfect and tidy. So, all right, we got Psychic Energy, another Xernia, such a nice, like, look at that. The way the color just pops. Professor's Research. Oh, there it is. I've been waiting, I was actually waiting to see when this card was gonna pop up. It is the Mew by Yunishida. I must sound like the biggest Yunishida fanboy at the moment because I literally speak about her in every single video, but she is an amazing new artist. She did win Illustrator competition, the first one with that awesome God of War card. But again, she's just been dominating. She's been drawing in every set and every time she comes up with an illustration, it's absolutely gorgeous. She drew the Katy Perry card for goodness sake. <laughs> amazing work. So a lovely Mew. And Cosmo behind that. I'm gonna sleeve that Mew because I do really like it. Super playable card too. So I'd like to find the reverse holo of that, to be honest with you. I kind of do want to go for that reverse holo set just for the sake of it. Like just for the completeness aspect of it. I feel like I might as well just do it. I hope to find some of the, the higher tier ones like the Pikachu full art, another Mew. I'm not gonna say no. That way it just is a little bit easier. Cosmog. Lovely Ho by Saito and... Oh, nice, a Garudon reverse by Ruta Fuse. I know not everyone is a super big fan of this style of card, but for me, it doesn't hurt me. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't detract from the rest of the set. So like, I'm not too fussed about it. I just, I don't know, it just, it just exists. And it's just another aspect of it. So if you don't like it, it's okay because there are the non reverse holo versions of it. And I feel like, I don't know, it would be cool if the reverse holo from like ultra shiny GX made a return. That would be fun um, because that was a really cool, that cracked holo style, but I'm not losing sleep over it. So we got another Cosmog, another Valtal. Seriously, it just looks so sweet. Solgaleo. And Pikachu V 
Sort of off top with Pikachu V, so another flying Pikachu. Awesome, so I'm doing pretty good for the Pikachus. Not gonna lie, but look at that. V cards, the Japanese print, just they look so clean and they have a really, 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 really nice hollow to them. Awesome set, seriously. Timeless. I know not everyone's sort of going crazy about celebrations, like the main set. A lot of people like the subset, the reprint subset, but like these are beautiful looking cards. You cannot, you cannot deny this is an awesome looking set. It maybe just didn't meet everybody's expectations. Maybe there wasn't enough variance, but I personally, I like the conciseness of it. We got another Solgaleo, another Lugia. Again, I just want to get as many of these cards by Corky Side as I can. Another Grudon. Oh, very nice. I'm super, super pumped to find that. Excellent. That's what I was talking about. I, I want to just find these reverse cards. That way I kind of just get on with them. This sort of has like a little bit of texture to the reverse holo, which the other ones don't really have. So that is kind of cool. I'm guessing because it's the fuller, it kind of has like a little bit of a different texture beyond just the holo effect. It's funky. Like I said, it's not for everybody. I know not everybody is like in love with it, but it's definitely funky. That's a cool card. So very nice Pikachu, but reverse holo. I don't know how many reverse holos I've found so far. Look, there's somewhere here. There's just so many cards. There's seriously just so many cards. I ain't complaining. I'd love to find the Pikachu V Union. That way I can show you guys what it looks like as a full spread. So fingers crossed I can find that. All right, so we got a Dialga, another Lugia, awesome. Another ho -Oh, awesome, I'm happy, happy with that. Ooh, okay, Zekrom, reverse. Very nice. So that, I think that maybe is the fourth one. Again, it's just, it's funky. It's just different. It doesn't have like a, a texture you can feel, but it looks like the hollow itself has like a little bit of a, I don't know, sort of like dash line. It's cool. It's just different. I know, like I said, I know not everyone's in love with it. All right, I'm going to open up another promo pack. So let's go with this one. This is the third one. Just be careful not to cut the top of that there. Cause like I said, some people have done that. You'd hate to do that with an Umbreon. All right, what are we going to find? We got... Oh, okay. Grudon, Team Magma. This is really nice. This is such a cool card. I love legendaries and I just like sort of like the old style of them. I like that sort of, I'm not going to say primitive 3D, but sort of like simple 3D where it was just very like, this is a 3D model. Like it just, you, you look at it and you're like, yeah, that's a 3D model where it's not trying to be ultra realistic. That's the word. It's just, this is very grounded in sort of Pokemon design. So I really like that for that reason. And again, it's just really nice with the silver borders. Such a cool speckle. Seriously. You cannot deny that these cards look sick. Absolutely awesome. Curious what that last one's going to be. Hoping for that Charizard, fingers crossed. Well, it's by far and away the chase card for the Japanese side as it is for the English side. Last I checked, it was like 16,000 yen. So it's getting up there. I want to find it rather than have to buy it and cave. We got a fire energy. Have we got the Pikachu V Union card? No, not in this one. It's all right, there's still hope. The Algar, another restaurant, so nice. Oh, another Pikachu. How many have I found? I, I actually think that's three Pikachu full hearts plus the reverse, that makes four. So that's awesome, I'm very pumped with that. This is a nice box. Very, very fun. Kyogre. Is there another card here? No, that's it. Okay, cool. Oh my Lord. I cannot believe I found three. I'm sure there's another one lying around here. Hang on. I got to find it. I've covered O. So rude. Oh my Lord. It's around. Hang on. Is it? Did I imagine it? Maybe I imagined it. Oh no, it's there. Yeah, I can see it. You guys watching this are probably like, dude, it's right there in front of you. Are you blind? Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it for the Pikachus. I'm not going to find any more, but I'm happy with that. Okay. Got a couple of packs left. So again, I really do want to find that Pikachu V Union. If I do find them, I'm going to have to clear the whole table and then show it to you, but I'm not complaining. I'd like to find it because I want to go through the Pikachus on it. All right, we got... Not in this one. That's a bummer. All right, we got Lunala. We got Grudon. Kyogre. Seriously, this is a cool card. I didn't, I didn't show this one up close. I don't know if you can see it. We've all seen these. We've all seen these with celebrations, but again, it's just nice to admire the artwork sometimes. You overlook it sometimes. So, you know, it's important to just take a step back and just appreciate, I think anyway, all the really cool illustrations that go on these cards. And another restaurant again, as many as I can get, please. Okay, this is the last pack for the booster box. So this is the last shot at finding that V Union. If not, fingers crossed it's in the next box. Oh, is it? Hang on, do I spy? I think it is, I think it is. Yes, it is. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm so happy about that. That's so cool. Oh, that's so, 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 so cool. I'm so happy. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Oh, look at him. It looks amazing. Oh, it looks amazing. I actually haven't picked up my celebrations version. Oh my Lord. Okay, hang on. Breaking the video. I'm just going to clear the table. Give me one sec. Okay, I've cleared the table. I'm ready to do this. Let's spread this out. I'm so glad I got to find this because I haven't found the English version yet. So this is the first time I'm seeing this card all together and it's just so nice. It's so, so nice. Oh, look at this. Okay. Bang. In focus. So good. Actually, let's make sure I lock it because I want to go through some of the artists 
that have drawn the Pikachu on this card. And there's just so many. There's 25. Uh, who have we got? We've got... This one's by Akira Egawa. That one is by Soso. This is Mitsuda Areta right in the middle. Front and center. You've got Oyama. You've got Shibuzo there with this one. So cute. Kidasaki draws, draws a little sort of fat in the cheeks Pikachu. Uh, Tomokazu Komiya there. Koki Saito. That's Five Barn Graphics. That's a pretty distinctive style. This one's by Naoki Saito. This one's by Kawayu, another really cool artist that I like. They draw so many cool special arts. This one's by Jiro Sasumo, who drew the illustrated Charizard. And that's the first card that they've drawn since the Charizard card. So cool to see them come back. Uh, did I say that's by Soso? -So? I think this one is by Yunishida. There's just so many. There's so many Pikachu on this card. So that is really cool. I'm very, very happy to have found that. Okay. Awesome. Pumped as. Let's finish it off with the last promo pack. So let's see what we get. I'm excited. I'm just so chuffed after finding that Pikachu. That has made my day. Alrighty. What are we going to get? Behind, let's get this in focus before I do anything else. Okay. Last card is... Oh, very nice. The restaurant. Oh, that is clean. Oh my Lord. Can you sort of see that has like a rain? Oh my Lord. That has like this really nice rainbow effect to it. Oh, geez. That is so clean. These are really, really, really cool cards. Oh, that's awesome. Oh my gosh. I cannot get over how good that looks in the Japanese print. That's amazing. I found this in English, but um, wow. Oh my Lord. And that nice just very subtle stamp on the on the side there. Super clean. Overall, that was a little bit of fun. I had a lot of fun doing that. Don't know when I'm going to do that again. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Please leave a comment below. Just tell me something you like about the Japanese version of 25th Anniversary Collection. Until then, you can follow me everywhere, mainly on Twitch. And I'll see you next time. Take care.